welcome back to my kitchen guys today i'll be making me some fluffy creamy mashed potato i know each and every one makes their mashed potatoes a little bit different but this recipe right here guys this is a must try recipe in your kitchen look at all of this niceness right here guys creamy mashed potatoes to perfection this creamy mashed potatoes is loaded with some roasted potatoes some melted butter some warm milk and some salt to give it added taste but there's a secret way of making this creamy fluffy mashed potatoes so if you want to learn the secret way of making this recipe guys please stay tuned don't forget to subscribe hit that like button guys and don't forget guys to turn your notification button on wait no more let's get this process started guys these are all the ingredients that you need to make your fluffy mashed potatoes over here i got my whole milk you could use heavy whipping cream if you wish but i'm using some whole milk in this recipe some salt to give it added taste some butter right here some black pepper and I got my potatoes over here. So guys, let's get this process started. And here goes my potatoes, guys. Look at it, guys. All peeled and ready to be washed. So let's move on to the other process by washing our potatoes. Let's go. At this point, I'm gonna dice up my potatoes and I'm cutting them to the same size because I want my potatoes to cook all at once. And here goes my potatoes, all cut up and ready to move on to the next process. Guys, just take a look. Don't you love some potatoes, guys? I love me some mashed potatoes. So guys, wait no more. Let's get the next process. Let's go. Over here, I've got my water already boiling. So now I'm just gonna go in with my potatoes. To my potatoes, guys, I'm going with some salt to give it added taste. I'm gonna give it that stir. So guys, we're gonna leave this on medium heat for roughly like 30 to 35 minutes until the potatoes are cooked, tender and nice. So see you guys back in 35 minutes. So we are back and I'm gonna check on my potatoes. Let's see if it's cooked. And it's all cooked, look at it guys. Oops, it's all cooked. So we're gonna turn the stove off. Alrighty guys, look at that. My potatoes all drained off and ready to move on to the next process. So guys, let's go. At this point, I'm adding my potatoes to my mixing bowl where I'm gonna use the whisk attachment to crush my potatoes, getting a little softened. Then I'm going to transfer my bowl onto my mixer and beat on low speed for 30 seconds. Then I'm going to increase to medium speed and I'm going to slowly drizzle in my hot milk. The potatoes should look creamy but not overly loose. With the potatoes being beaten, I'm going in with one teaspoon of salt to give it added taste. To my 
my potatoes, I'm going in with eight tablespoons of butter, adding it one at a time, giving it that nice texture and that flavorful taste. And there you have it, mashed potatoes to perfection. A moment of silence, guys. And just take a look at all of that creaminess, all of that fluffiness. Looks just like a cake batter. Guys, the secret way of making fluffy, creamy mashed potatoes is using your handheld mixer and also adding your butter one at a time. You won't go wrong. So guys, wait no more. We're gonna put this on a plate and then it's time for us to dig in together. Using a fork at this point, I'm making that round shape look so I could drizzle my hot melted butter on top. Look at all of that niceness, mashed potatoes to perfection. And then I'm just gonna shake some of my dried parsley on top to give it that nice presentable look. And there you have it. My mashed potato is all finished, garnished, and looking really nice. Tell me in the comments how you like this so far. Wait no more. We're going to do that taste test, and then we're going to dig in together. So let's give this a nice taste test. Look how creamy this looks. Let me taste it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is everything oh la la look at that i need to give it another taste test omg look at that is this a cake batter let me know in the comment section because this looks omg tastes super super good this recipe can be made for thanksgiving for christmas for a quick dinner meal as a side dish or even to your liking, whichever you choose. I'm just eating away because this right here, guys, it is everything. I'm speechless at the moment. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to hit that like button and turn your post notification button on so you don't miss out on all of the upcoming content and all of these delicious mouth watering recipes you don't want to miss out guys and also if you're new here please do not forget to subscribe it's free of cost so just hit that red button and let it become gray this is your girl jody thank you so much again for watching i hope you have a blessed week and see you guys soon stay hydrated stay prayed up and stay safe the dj family love each and every one of you guys Alrighty, guys have a good one bye guys